Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So today, I wanted us to have a discussion, a very interesting one, about Raven, and if she truly intended on killing her brother, Crow. Now, this is something I thought about for a while, and I think that this is actually something very interesting. So, sit back, relax, and I hope you all enjoy, and let's go ahead and get this entire discussion started. So... Now, I know we've had a lot of Raven discussions here on the channel lately, and, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's just been something very interesting considering that a lot of this arc has had to do with Raven, so, of course, Raven is kind of important, I mean, considering that her character's really kind of blown up due to this volume, and so I thought it would be very interesting to bring up this very interesting subject here because... Um, it's something to look back on and to really think about if Raven truly did plan to kill Crow. And now the reason why I bring this up is, yes, uh, you know, for those of you who may have brothers and sisters, I'm sure you all have had your quarrels and your fights from time to time because it's, you know, natural. And Raven and Crow obviously have their certain viewpoints that they disagree on. You know, Crow disagrees on Raven's points of view of her survival of the fittest mentality. And it makes sense because Crow tries to protect those around him and he sees it as more of, hey, let's protect everyone. And, of course, you know, Raven, you know, disagrees that sometimes it has to be the strong live and the weak die. And, you know, of course, they disagree with the whole Ospin scenario of how Raven believes that, you know, Ospin's wrong. She believes, you know, she, she has these things that she hasn't told, you know, the audience as us as well as the characters in the series. There are things that we don't know that she knows about Ospin. And it's very interesting, so there's a point of view that she apparently disagrees on when it comes to Crow agreeing and believing that Ospin is correct. And of course, you know, she makes this whole agreement and arrangement with Cinder that she will team up with Cinder, obviously, which was just a plan for her to really get the relic, so it wasn't really a real agreement, it was just something to fake her out on so that she could get what she wanted and then escape. But she actually had this whole agreement that, oh yeah, yeah, I'll definitely work with you, wink, wink. Yeah, <laughs> uh, if you actually kill my brother. Now, here is something that's very interesting. If you think back on it, Raven herself has had the opportunity now to actually kill Crow. And that could have actually been during Volume 4, after their talk in the end, when Tyrion actually, you know, battled against Crow as well as Team Ranger. There could have been that moment. Now, there could be arguments against this, saying that, oh, well, this may not have been premeditated. And that's true, it may not have been premeditated. But at the same time, Raven could have actually sat there and went, you know what, I'm actually going to plan on killing my brother. You know, she could have actually thought that. She could have had that mentality back then, because the point whenever they stopped talking about the whole religious aspect and what Ospin had told Crow, you know, that's when you see a bird in the tree that looks very similar to Raven, or the, a bird like Raven itself, and that's when Crow decides to stop talking about it. And it shows that if that was Raven, she could have actually, you know, she could have got the jump on Crow there. I mean, well, not entirely if, you know, it was actually her and, you know, he would have saw it coming because she he knows about the Raven and everything. But, you know, but that's the thing. Upon this agreement, which is uh, interesting, I, I think it could have just been a ploy myself. Uh, at least that's my opinion. I think it could have just been a ploy for Raven to just tell Cinder, you know, this is my way of, you know, trying to help, you know, you get the relic, even though it was all part of her plan to truly get the relic, and just use Cinder and her faction to actually get what she wanted. Because, as we know, you know, Raven herself has kept people in the dark. She has actually done this. She even did it with Yang. She didn't tell Yang everything. And which, who knows, maybe in the finale she's going to tell Yang some things. That will make her question some things about Ospin, but who knows. But this actually falls upon her disbelief within Ospin, for example. And But I don't think specifically that Raven would want to actually kill her brother. I mean, yes, she does disagree with him, and she thinks he's a fool for believing in Ospin and believing in his goals and ideals. But at the very same time, she may still see him as her brother. She still probably trust him to a certain degree, not entirely, and, you know, actually thinking on that, that could actually bring apart the idea that she may not actually want to kill Crow. I mean, I think that Raven's mentality, or at least from what it's shown, she, because, you know, she wanted to become a huntress so that they could kill any huntsmen or huntresses that could come into the Bronwyn tribe and potentially pose a threat and kill them. That was the whole point. It was more or less self-defense against intruders and invaders, and that's why Crow and Raven went to the academy to become huntsmen and huntress, because they wanted to, you know, protect their tribe originally. That was the whole point, and 
So I don't think Raven is the kind of individual to just kill whoever just because she wants to. I think it's more or less self-defense, but on the end of Crow, I don't really think she sees it as um, a reason to kill Crow. I don't think that she actually wants to kill Crow. And like I said, she, she had the opportunity to kill Crow. And just because they have a, you know, slight difference in their beliefs and their, you know, idealism, it doesn't mean that Raven herself would want to kill Crow. Now, I mean, she could have wanted to kill him, I mean, and that could still be true. But then again, you know, during the fight at, you know, the hall, you know, and, you know, Haven Academy, I guess you could say she could have done it. But then again, you know, considering that they were, you know, trying to get the relic, uh, maybe she wouldn't have done it. But, you know... Maybe she could have. I mean, you know, she had the opportunity, um, you know, there as well. And that's why I'm kind of thinking that it was more or less just a ploy to send her to say, hey, you know what, I want my brother dead just so that I can try to get you on my side so I can just, you know, basically make you a distraction while I get the relic and get away. And, you know, that's that's exactly what this could have been. This could have been a ploy of Raven's because she is a very intelligent character. She has proven that she is intelligent. And if she were to say something because, you know, Cinder, you know, almost jumped the gun because thinking that, you know, Hey, look, you know, uh, Ruby's a part of that group. Of course, you know, that would that would make her want to get revenge, and, you know, that would actually work out in Raven's favor because it would have had, you know, Crow involved, and that could have actually been the reason to, you know, supposedly say that she wanted Crow eliminated just so she'd get the relic. But who's to say, you know, it may have been, you know, planned, maybe not, but I don't think myself that, in just my opinion, that Raven would have actually wanted to kill Crow. But anyways... You all let me know what you think down below. Uh, do you think Raven actually did intend on killing Crow? Do you think it was just something to, you know, trick Cinder into getting her to get what she wanted? But anyways, thank you all for watching, and hit the like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and share this with your friends if you found this informative or useful. But anyways, take care of yourselves, have yourselves a wonderful day, and remember, if today wasn't a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care, everyone.